So when I did the tour video of our solar and battery system, I showed this switch behind me that's in the understairs cupboard. So uh, this is actually the emergency power supply switchover. So when we get a power cut, we can switch from grid power to uh, the battery and the solar system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just explain briefly what system we've gone for, and then we're gonna do a little demonstration. So for anyone who's found this particular document on the Give Energy document portal, this is actually method three of the EPS modes that are available. So um, this uh, document just basically describes the different methods that you can have some sort of emergency power supply, um, including um, just a single socket or um, method three, which is what we're doing, which is the whole house manual switch over. So you can have an automatic switch over, but the reason I didn't go for that is that just in case the load currently running from the house at the moment of a power cut exceeds what's currently available from the inverter from either the battery or the solar, you could find that you um, are drawing too much power if it switches over automatically. So doing it manually means that um, I can manage the load uh, on the house before switching over to the uh, off-grid version. So um, basically if we're um, running the kettle or the oven or the heating or whatever, it means I can turn all that off um, in the event of a power cut to make sure that the load is well within the, the five kilowatts that the inverter can supply. And if it's dark, that has to actually be less than uh, 3.6 kilowatts because the battery discharge rate um, for our particular system is 3.6 kilowatts. So if there's no additional solar, the maximum we can draw is 3.6 kilowatts rather than five. But when you combine the solar with the battery, you can get up to five kilowatts with the, the Gen 2 hybrid inverter. So uh, that's cool. So that's what we've done. And uh, that means we're gonna be trying out this method here where we switch the house over to the off-grid mode and see what, uh, what happens. Okay, so I've got Kat here to help me because I've got the camera in my hand and my phone in my other hand. Uh, so we've got the uh, light in the understairs cupboard on just so that we can have something to do the test against. And first thing that Kat's gonna do is she's gonna switch to the off mode, which is effectively everything's cut off. Okay, light has gone off as predicted. So now, moment of truth, Kat's gonna switch to the off-grid mode. So let's see what happens. Some stuff has happened. The light has come back on. So uh, there we go. Uh, we are all good. So what I'm going to do is come back in five minutes or so um, and when the router has restarted so that I can show you what's happening on the app. So the router has rebooted, we're back on the Wi-Fi, which has allowed the Give Energy app to pick up the live updates from the inverter. And we're now getting updates every 10 seconds or so, which is good. And you can see that we're generating a nice healthy two kilowatts at the moment. The house is only consuming about 250 watts, which is well within the limit of the inverter. And um, because we've got so much excess, we're actually charging the battery as well at uh, about two kilowatts, which is um, fantastic. So uh, theoretically, this means we could run indefinitely off of the, the battery and the solar um, off grid, as long as we've got some sun to keep charging the batteries. So um, during the summer, this would actually be a viable option for us as long as we don't exceed the limit of the inverter um, when there's no sun out so um, if we're um, on just running off of the battery then our limit would be 3.6 kilowatts as I said before but with the solar as well as long as we've got uh, plenty of solar we can run up to five kilowatts which is actually more than enough uh, for most situations so yeah I hope you enjoyed that demonstration and uh, see the relative benefits of having a, a whole house switch over just got to be a little bit careful with the load, but um, assuming you're sensible with it, um, you shouldn't have any problems. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.